when you have a conversation with someone who work in the tech field about how the phone is listening to customer for ads, they always think that's a stupid idea. It's not only because it's very high risk and lots of regulation around it, it's also because it's not profitable. It's too expensive to analyze every sentence we say. And this meta just changed due to one research paper that published. They show a brand new path. It's not only can escape the regulation, the risk, it's also very cheap. The reason why this kind of thing only be discovered recently, it is because the rise of AI and the whole algorithm was powered by AI. The path is analyzing your data from your phone's accelerometers. Why try to get into the nitty gritty technology stuff and try to look their code? How did they make this possible? And I actually faced some difficulties. They don't actually show their code anymore. They used to be, be able to show, but their description said because some warning and a certain company restrictions, they no longer can show the code. And it's not even a moral issue. It's because pressure from certain companies. Within this video, you will understand, first, what does the people who in the field who making the algorithm think about this? Second, what should you be aware of? And as a customer, what should we do? In the end, I will analyze the paper in human simple languages. So even you are aware, how could they possibly get your microphone data? So let me get one thing all of the way first. So. Why lots of people before this research paper, before this technology path, why lots of people think my phone is hearing me? If you ask anybody who work in algorithm in tech industry, they will mainly give you two answers. First, based on your interaction with the internet, do a guess what would you like? Uh, there is a very famous example to show that. In America, there's a very traditional family. The daughter is getting recommended uh, plan B or other pregnancy preventions, pills. And the dad think this is inappropriate and sue the technology company. And I didn't look over the case and I assume the girl is probably underage. However, the, the drama part coming in is within this case still going on, the girl is pregnant. In today's internet, on the web page, how long you stay in a certain point, where's your crosser? Who did you like? Who did you comment? It exactly record who you are, and even down to the detail, where you live, who's in your family, how much money you guys possibly earn, are you left wing, right wing, what's the race are you, or even to your sexual orientations. And the company who analyzes this type of data the best is actually TikTok. And they're not even hiding, they even have some uh, developer creator summit to show how do they make the algorithm addicting to us? And in future, I probably make another video because it's kind of irrelevant. And the second main reason before this technology new path was discovered, people think uh, my phone is hearing me, is because survivorship biased. Just like, for example, even today's video, you probably just talk to your friend about, oh, my phone's hearing me, then boom, suddenly this video recommends to you and you watch it. On average, people watching from 1,000 to 10,000 ads a day. In the 9,999 of the ads was irrelevant to what just happened. So you didn't really notice them. Until that one thing, something just clicked. You talk about go to this random village in France to travel. And when you pull out your phone, it shows the ads. And it makes you feel kind of creepy because are he actually hearing me? But in reality, it's just a survivorship bias. That two reasons is what make majority people who work in the field believe that listening is not possible. So what does the research paper actually change the people who are experts mind? First, they start with the one hardware in everybody's phone called a accelerometer. That is the thing that show how did you wave your phone. For example, you go travel, you walk a lot. When you, at the nighttime, you open your phone, they exactly tell you how much step did you walk today. That only be possible because that little hardware we just mentioned. And because the competition between different phone company, that sensor is become way more sensitive than before. To a level that they can even experience voice 
as a tiny, tiny bit vibration to have an impact on this a piece of hardware. I even watched someone who on GitHub tried to replicate the same result does this research team do. He himself as an independent developer with a very, very limited calculation power can detect what people say accuracy up to 80%. But imagine if you have unlimited of calculation powers and the most advanced AI, what could happen? You may have a question. I say so much thing every day. How do they know what part to capture? It gonna cost lots of money. But that issue has been solved very long times ago. The thing they solve it is called trigger words. Just like when you said Alexa, Siri, they start answer you back. How do they know you're calling them? Is by the technology trigger words. And if I about to design the system, I would just literally search what's the most trend based on your past experience. Uh, what should I looking for and build some trigger work for you. So we know the risk. The research paper show us a new possibility. What should we do? The answer is almost hopeless. There's nothing the regulation can actually do to this. There are so many technology that a lot of people rely on need this precision of censorship. For example, when you uh, order something from online, you can see where they are. When you hop on a Uber, you send your friend your location. They can track where the car's at. If this censorship is not as sensitive, it's almost impossible to use. Or sometimes you need weather, sometimes you need a GPS. You don't know where to go in the new city. All of those request high sensitive censorship like this. We have to ban it because of privacy issue. They may exactly know what you're talking about. So no one can use GPS, no one can use delivery. Amazon shut down right now. It's almost impossible to think what to call with it. However, on the individual level, there is a way. Is on everybody's phone in privacy, you can actually have a check that do not show my location to anything. It may disable a loss of function in your phone, but if that's what you truly care about, you can actually shut it off to disable this censorship. And in the end, I just want to mention, because the AI and the booming of calculation power, uh, there will be more and more issue like that coming out. I will try my best to cover majority of the issue to you guys. And if you guys care about this issue, please uh, leave a like. I will keep you guys updated. And that will be all for today's video. Thank you very much. I really hope you learned something today. My name is Paul. I see you next time.